Hello and welcome to Accessible Adventures. Today we are going to check out the Lizadro Museum of Lapidary Art. They have all sorts of cool things inside that are made from jade, stone, crystal, all sorts of cool things. So let's go inside and see, shall we? Okay, so I just made my way into the building and my first stop was the bathroom. Um, it is on the far corner, northwest corner of the main door. So just be aware when you come in, if you need to go to the bathroom, it's gonna be a little bit of a walk. Uh, there are four different handicap accessible bathrooms with the handrails. Okay, now this is awesome. We have an entire set of food done up with minerals and stones. And it says over here what they're made of. We've got petrified wood for the meat, Mexican onyx for the mixed vegetables. Very artistic, very cool. And everything here is made out of minerals and stone. They even have stone for bacon. Okay, I had to share these figures because they're pretty cool. It says they are, let's see, 19th century low hands. They were considered perfect saints for Buddha. And this guy caught my eye. He's a long eyebrow low hand. This guy's having a good ear scratch. Had to share those, too funny. I am loving how they have this all set up so that it's backlit so you get to see all the different layers of the agate. Pretty cool. So I don't know if you can see it, but this is a representation of a fluorescence mine in New Jersey. And the stones actually glow. I did not realize that. Oh. Pretty cool. They do have some really awesome little hands-on stations so you, kids can get in and kind of figure out what everything feels like. They have brain coral and fossilized fern and they have more interactive things right here depending on which button you press it shows you where you can find each of these minerals in Illinois and I think this might be my favorite part of the museum we have all sorts of sparklies I wonder if they'd be willing to um, I don't know loan these out for special occasions. Okay, I changed my mind. This is what I want to go home with. There is an entire set here of famous diamonds. They're replicas, so you can see how big they are, but... Check out that sucker. The Cullinan One. 530 carats. Mm, I think that would give you a neck ache. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I had to show it. The Star of Persia actually looks like it has possibly Arabic writing etched into the top of it. And then the Hope Diamond is blue, which I never knew. And then there's even a green diamond. Love it. Lots of sparkly. Okay, so I had to share these. They're pretty cool. 
Each one is a little diorama of different animals made out of stone. And the cool thing about this, it's set up for both kids and for anybody that's a, in a wheelchair. So everything is wheelchair height level so that you can see all the different cool things they've got going on. Let's see if I can zoom in. I think I see diamonds in that tiger's eye. I think this one might be my favorite one. It is a coral reef made out of agate and real coral. Had to share this one as well. It is amber from 19th century Italy. And the amount of detail in that is exquisite. We've got the pirate ship and the parrot and the treasure. The only thing missing is Captain Jack Sparrow. And of course the... All right, I had to share this. This is the 24 sphere puzzle ball in ivory from China. And I'm gonna zoom in on that. Each one of those little diamond pieces has been hand carved. I'm amazed at how intricate that is. And if you go up, Check out the ball inside of the big one. And there's another one inside of that, and another one inside of that, and on and on. Just magnificent. Pretty. Mineral specimens were cut stone. On an arch slab of Brazilian agate, an 18 karat golden castle rises from the clusters flow of Emma, Malaga, Azure, and Aden. Okay, so this is a Florentine mosaic from 1950s Italy, and it's not made out of paint. Each one of these layers is a different kind of stone, and they even got the glass translucent. Just amazing. And I love how they have it backlit so you can see all the different layers. I have to say this place has a lot of eye candy. This might be one of my favorites. It's got an agate base, and then a goldsmith has come in and made the whole castle out of 18 karat gold with all sorts of little shiny diamond accents. Just a few more accessible facts for you. There are five handicap spaces, three of which have loading zones on both sides of the spaces. It's roughly 150 feet from the entrance to the furthest gallery and everything is all on one level. Both sets of automatic handicap doors worked when I was there. There's plenty of room in the gift shop and the galleries for wheels. There is also a side room used for special events should someone need a quiet space in the event of a sensory overload. And other than a video with audio that plays on a loop, there are no other accommodations for the visually impaired. Hello everyone, my name is Mel. I wanted to give a quick introduction to Accessible Adventures and why I decided to start it. Um, April of last year, I ended up with a spinal cord injury that left me partially paralyzed. For the good part of last summer, I was in a wheelchair and I've slowly been getting stronger, um, more mobile, um, but I still currently walk with a cane and an AFO, which actually, there we go, goes around my leg and keeps me, basically keeps my leg from getting wonky. Um, it has unicorns on it because I figured if I have to wear it, it's going to be happy and make me smile. So having the spinal cord injury gave me a much greater appreciation for all of the planning that has to go into leaving your house when you are not as mobile as you once were. Um, so what I want to do is each week, 
go to a place or two, depending on um, how much stamina I have. And just explore, have fun, get some really cool video and pictures, and also give you guys an idea of how easy it is to access the location, where the bathrooms are, um, and all sorts of other things that I can find along the way. So if you enjoyed this video, please click the big thumbs up button and click sub subscribe so that you can see what's going to be happening in the next couple of months. Um, and thank you so much for watching. All right. Take care and God bless.